Roger, roger, 595. Roger, roger, 73. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through all 50 questions on the screen um, and tell me if you can't see something or if you, you want me to, to read something out for you, I can do that. Um, if you don't have the right answer, then make sure you leave a blank um, and you know, and we can go back uh, at the end of the 50 questions and, and reread the question and see, see what it said. So I can go back at, at the end. Um, you don't want to get out of sync is one thing that you, you want to make sure that, you know, question one is answer one, question two, answer two, etc. All right, let's begin. Question number one. All right, question number two. And tell me to slow down if we need to. Question number three, read this carefully. Question number four. All right. Question number four. Everybody get that? And question number five. Question number six. And question number seven. All right, question number eight. All right, question number nine.
And question number 10. And question number 11. And question number 12. And question number 13. And question number 14. Question number 15. Question number 16. And question number 17. And question number 18. And question 19. And question 20. And question 21.
Question 22. Question 23. And question 24. Okay. Question twenty five. And question 26. And question 27, which point on figure E5-2 best represents the impedance of a series circuit consisting of a 400 ohm resistor and a 38 picofarad capacitor at 14 megahertz? Here are the answers. Question 28. All right, and question 29.
And question 30. And question 31. Thirty-two. All right. In this figure, which schematic sim is the schematic symbol for a NOR gate? So find the figure, and then I'll give you the answers here in a sec. NOR gate. And here are the answers. Mm-hmm. Okay, and 33. Okay, and 34, oh, I'm sorry, 33, and 34. Okay, 35, and 36. And 37. And thirty eight, okay, and thirty nine. And question number 40, whoops. What type of chart is shown? That is the question. What type of chart is shown? All right. 
and what is meant by the blocking dynamic range of a receiver. And question 42. And 43. And question 44. Okay, 45. And 46. Forty seven. And forty eight.
and 49. And last question, 50. So what do you think? <laughs> well, let, let's see, let's see. So, question number one, which of the following is a common method of transmitting audio with amateur fast scan TV? All of those. All of those are possible with amateur fast scan, so 1D. Two, what is the function of a DXQSL manager? Well, let's see to handle the receiving and sending of confirmation cards for a DX station. All right, question three, I ask you to read carefully because I didn't. Uh, this is actually all derived from the ARRL website and I cut and paste from one of their tests and I read too quickly. What type of logic defines zero as a high voltage? Well, that's negative logic, not reverse logic. So negative logic, C, 3C. And what is the main drawback of a wire loop antenna for direction finding? Well, it, A, it has a bidirectional pattern. And five, what is the primary function of an external earth connection or ground rod? We learned that tonight, lightning protection, C. And what is an earth station in the amateur satellite service? Well, an earth station is anything that is within 50 kilometers of the earth's surface and intended for communications with amateur stations by means of objects in space. So that's 6A. And seven, when performing phase shift keying, why is it advantageous to shift the phase precisely at the zero crossing? Well, Dave told us that it's D. This results in the least possible transmitted bandwidth for the particular mode. PSK31 uses this. And eight, how many levels can an analog to digital converter with eight bit resolution? Yep, uh, two to the eighth or 256. And how is antenna efficiency calculated? Well, that's the good resistance, also known as radiation resistance, divided by the total resistance times 100. So 9C. And 10, the cause of gray line propagation? Well, you have to have twilight and sunrise. And the D layer absorption is low, E and F are high, so 10B. And 11, the name given to an impurity atom that adds holes, that's an acceptor impunity. You're adding holes. A donor impurity would be adding electrons, or an n-type impurity that would be adding electrons. I don't know what an insulator impurity is. So, yeah, that's an acceptor, 11D. And what is the disadvantage of decreasing the number of wire segments in an antenna model? In this case, uh, 12B, the computed feed point impedance may be incorrect if you have less than 10 segments per half wavelength. And 13, what is the magnitude of the current at the input of a series RLC circuit as the frequency goes through res resonance? Well, it's in series, so more current is going to flow at the resonant point, so maximum current at the resonant point. Sorry, 12 was B. The computed feed point impedance may be incorrect. 
So 13D, maximum current as you go through resonance. Like you can also think that the series circuit in resonance becomes a short circuit. Correct, maximum current. And 14, most common type of photovoltaic cell, well that's silicon, so 14B. 15, what is one reason for using powered iron cores? Well, powered iron cores maintain their characteristics at higher currents. Now that's why they're used in power transformers. Uh, so 15A, higher currents. And what might a sudden rise in radio background noise indicate? Well, a solar flare may have occurred. So 16B. And what special type of diode is capable of both amplification and oscillation? It's the Asaki diode, it's obsolete, also known as the tunnel diode. That's one of those eight diode types, the tunnel diode, 17B. And 18, which of the following additional rules apply if you're installing a, an antenna near an airport? D, you may have to notify the FAA and you may have to register it with the FCC. And 19, I can hear Dave now, take the big number and divide it by the small number. What is the deviation ratio of an FM phone signal having a maximum frequency swing of five kilohertz, modulation frequency three kilohertz, big number over the small number is about 1.67, so 19C. And why is it important to keep lead lengths short for components used in circuits for VHF and above? Uh, well, a, that piece of wire can work as an inductor. So to avoid unwanted inductive reactants, 20D. And what is the effect of ringing in a filter? Those are undesired oscillations added to the desired signal, so 21D. And 22, which of the following is used to construct a mimic? Well, that's microstrip construction, 22B. That's a dual layer printed circuit board with constant impedance. And what sets the minimum detectable signal level for an SDR? Um, the reference voltage level and more importantly, the sample width in bits. More bits, uh, more chance of detecting a weaker signal. So 23C. So which of these choices is an effective way to match an antenna with a 100 ohm feed point impedance and a 50 ohm coaxial cable feed line? This is that transmission line transformer. It's a quarter wavelength of the, the average between those two numbers. Between 100 and 50, it's 75. So a quarter wave piece of 75 ohm coax between those two and you'll get a, a good match. That's 24C. And 25, a folded dipole antenna is a dipole constructed from one wavelength of wire forming a very thin loop, 25D. And which of the following must be done to ensure that a crystal oscillator provides the frequency specified? Well, you have to match it with the proper parallel capacitance that it was originally designed to use. So 26D. All right, so which point? So it's a 400 ohm resistor, so we know on the X axis, that's the horizontal axis, we have to move over to the point of 400 and then we have to go either slightly below the, the line or down here and if you did the actual um, math with the uh, capacitor, the uh, 38 picofarad capacitor, you'd see that it's that point so it's point 0.4 which is D. So question 27 D.
and 28, which is an acceptable method of monitoring an exam? Well, you can use Skype. So using a real-time video link to, and the internet to connect the exam session to the observing VEs, 28D. And what is the significance of voltmeter sensitivity expressed in ohms per volt? Remember the, the old meters, so I said here's a 20,000 ohms per volt. Well, you click it over and see, okay, I'm on the 10 volt scale. So it's 10 times 20,000 or 200,000. That's what it, the load it'll put on the circuit, 200,000 ohms. So it's the full scale reading multiplied by its ohms per volt rating gives you the input impedance of the voltmeter. 29. The shortcut is the full scale. If you can remember those words, you've got it. Yep. And what happens to the magnitude of a reactance when it's converted to susceptance? I can't say it. It's, in, it's the inverse. It's one over. So the magnitude of susceptance is the reciprocal of the magnitude of the reactance. And who must be in physical control of a station apparatus of an amateur station on a U.S. vessel? any person holding an FCC issued amateur license or who is authorized for alien reciprocal operation. If they could operate in the country, in the United States, then they can operate an amateur station on board a US flag vessel, 31B. All right, and which is a NOR gate? A NOR is an OR gate with a, an inverter on the output. So that's number four, so D, 32D. See that? And how does spread spectrum technique of frequency hopping work? Anybody know who invented this? The Austrian actress Hedy Lamarr. Frequency hopping, it's the frequency of the transmitted signal is changed very rapidly according to a particular sequence also used by the receiving station. She has a patent. 33A. 34, what technology is used to track balloons? That's APRS, a form of packet radio, so 35, 34B, 34B. And 35, when may an amateur station send a message to a business? Pecuniary, when neither the amateur nor his or her employer has a pecuniary interest in the communications, 35C. And 36, which of the following digital modes uses variable length coding, the, the Vera code, that's PSK 31, 36B. And 37, what impedance does a quarter wavelength transmission line present when the line is shorted at the far end? A quarter wavelength line is an impedance inverter. So if it's shorted at the end, it's a very high impedance at the opposite, 37D. And what is a remotely controlled station? That's a station controlled indirectly through a control link. 38C. <laughs> and 39, which mode is most affected by nonlinear phase response? Dave told us it's digital. Digital is really sensitive to this, 39C. All right, what type of chart? That is a Smith chart. So that's 40A. And what is meant by the blocking dynamic range of a receiver? 1 dB compression is blocking dynamic range. So 41B. And 42, what occurs when excessive amount of signal energy re reaches a mixer? Well, a mixer circuit is a nonlinear circuit, so if you overdrive it, you're going to get distortion. You're going to get spurious mixer products. You're going to get 
junk on the output. So 42D. And 43, which of the following best describes electromagnetic waves traveling in free space? Back to basics. You have changing electric and magnetic fields which propagate the energy. So 43B, er, yeah, right, 43B. And 44, what happens to the feed point impedance at the base of a fixed length HF mobile antenna as the frequency of operation is lowered? So as the frequency of operation is lowered, the antenna stays the same length, but it gets relatively shorter compared to the frequency as you move the frequency. So a shorter antenna is a capacitive antenna. So that's one part. And the good resistance will decrease. So the radiation resistance decreases and the capacitive reactance increases, so 44D. And which of the following is an advantage of an antenna analyzer? Well, you don't need an external RF source. They've got one built in, so 45C. And 46, selectivity for an amateur RIDI receiver, 300 hertz. That's what they recommend, 46B. And 47, the equation for calculating the power dissipation of a series connected linear voltage regulator. That's that three legged regulator where you might have 20 volts coming in and 15 volts going out. Well, the, it's the voltage difference from input to output, in this case, five volts, multiplied by the output current. So if you had one amp, so it'd be five times one, or that device would be putting off five watts of heat. 47C. And 48, how do you adjust a, a linear amplifier, a vacuum tube linear amplifier that employs a Pi network output circuit? D, 48D, the tuning capacitor is adjusted for minimum plate current, also known as a dip, while the loading capacitor is adjusted for maximum plate current. Um, so if the tube is only rated at 500 milliamps, that's as far as you can go. So 48D. And 49, which is the most likely cause if you are hearing a combination of local AM broadcast signals on one of the HF or medium wave bands? Well, that's the rusty bolt effect. That's corroded metal joints, they're nonlinear junctions, they're mixing, so 49A. And last, which of the following techniques is normally used by low earth orbiting digital satellites? That's store and forward, 50A. So that is the end of the test. There were 50 questions. If you have less, 13 or less wrong, you pass. Yay. I got what I normally get at home, eight wrong. <laughs> you passed and we'll call you doctor. <laughs> All right, thanks for being here tonight. Go on home, take some practice tests online.